Well, poor first win of the season. How good does that feel? Uh, well, better than the last couple of weeks, I can assure you. It's a strange game in football. We could have had three draws and a defeat in the league this year. And we would have said we had a decent start to the season. We had one win and still it's got the same pointage. So, you know, we've got to be pleased. Two nothing down and things we're looking at, it's going to get worse instead of better. Crazy goals again, just, you know, individual. Uh, well, the first one was a great hit. The second one should, should have been stopped. It makes you start to worry, you know, but the players have shown a, a grit and determination, you know, to get back in the game again. And after, you know, Stephen got, came up with a good finish. And we finished the half very well. I was really bit worried we might, you know, it blow ourselves out the second half. But to be fair, the boys, they kept going right through, right through the 90 minutes. And we looked, you know, the better team the second half. And you put Ryan on, Bird on as a sub within a minute or 90 seconds or so. He's, he, he scored for you. He's, uh, I think Ryan would be the first to admit he's not the best footballer in the world. Same, but he has a knack of being in the right place at the right time. He's probably our best finisher, you know, with the players we've got. You know, but uh, he's, you know, he's come on there. In the first one, he's, he's in the right area. And the second one's a great finish across the goalie. So I'm very pleased for him because, you know, I've probably... Not use, he's been one of the ones I've not probably not used as much. And to be fair to him, you know, he's come up with the goods today. And having gone three two ahead, you you were comfortable there towards the end, Paul. Yeah, you know, there was a couple of wee passes that went the right way. People would have got right through. And I was a wee bit worried about crossing the ball in the box the last five minutes. I'm a, I much preferred if it had been thoughtful and taken in the corners. Wasted a couple of minutes down in a corner for throw-ins and corner kicks but that's what young and exuberant players get up to you know they're going to have to learn and it's one thing I'm going to have to slap them about for when they come the next the next game What can this win and the manner of the victory do for, for your young side now Paul? Well you saw how exciting the young players can be when they get the bit between the teeth I'm just hoping that they, they've understood now what, what this league's all about you know the boy Harry Connick's had a very up and down start to his career you know, his professional career and playing in a regular in a team. But today I thought the second half he was outstanding. You know, he, he started to learn the game. And the right back again, a 90 year old kid, you know, and he's, he's come here and he's, he's you know, really worked, worked hard at his game and he's, you know, committed to the cause. I thought Josh Wakefield did well as well. You know, three Moniz I thought were, were excellent, as was everybody. After the disastrous, there was a 10 12 minute start. And the fact that it is Luton, who are tipped for big things, big budget, big team, that you've come back from turning down again, does that make it all the sweeter and, and just confirm that your players are, are competitive at this level? I think we've proved that with the second half against XR. Today, the, the performance and the result today. The uh, Bristol Rovers were a better team than us on the day. In New York, I thought there was nothing in it, but you know, when things are not going for you. They can finish, you know, they can kick you in the bum. So um, today, you know, I thought we, we knuckled down, we rolled the sleeves up, and they give everything they had again. You know, the boy Compton he hasn't has, hasn't had a real training session yet. And I thought he was excellent the first half, but obviously he died died to death the second half. Uh, you know, he showed that he's got the the mental approach and the experience to be a great benefit benefit to the team. A change in the way you play today, much more passing football. You said you didn't want the players to go long, that's why you left Beck out. Um, is this here to stay now? Do you think that this is the way that, to play? Well, I think horses for courses, to be fair. You know, if, uh, if a team has four dwarfs at the back and you would use a bit of height, to, you know, the, what I'm trying to say is there's certain styles of play you're going to come against, certain opposition that, uh, that uh, you can benefit from height. I thought we were just so overemphasizing it. You know, I'd like to think that the boy Beck, you know, told the rest of the players that he's got legs and feet, and let's find out how good he is when he get played up to him. You know, so and and keep the the aerial stuff for when we get twenty five yards from goals and we can see, you know, we can play to his his assets. So I think the boy Bird's in that shape as well. So there's horses for courses.